John Moore reporting for sportsandmore.com from the Scotiabank Center here in Halifax, joined by Valdor Forer's Julian Gauthier. And uh, Julian, back for another year in the, in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey. Your coach told me a year ago he wasn't sure you were going to return. But tell me a little bit about your, your experience at the pro camp and now that you've been back for about two weeks. Uh, pretty good experience for me. I think it went uh, pretty well. Uh, good rookie camp. Uh, after that, uh, played two exhibition games over there, so I was uh, pretty happy. Tell me about uh, the role. That, that you're expected to have here. Again, you're going to be, I would assume, you're going to have more responsibility this year. But what do you see as your role with the forwards this season? Uh, being a leader for the younger guys, I think uh, it's been it's my fourth year in the league now. So uh, just being uh, being the guy who's working hard every time he work, he step on the ice, it means like practice or game, just uh, playing your role. Of course, I'm going to have a lot of ice time this year. So just being uh, ready every time I'm uh, stepping on the ice. When you found out you were coming back, was there what, what was what was your reaction? Was it naturally perhaps a, some disappointment, or was that not a case? Yeah, sure. You're always uh, disappointed a little bit, but uh, like once you're getting cut, you just go over that, and you just say like, uh, "I'm gonna have a good year and back in junior. I'm gonna have fun with the guys here and uh, f- just working hard." What have they told you that they want you to do to to work on to become a better player so that perhaps next year's your year? Uh, continue to practice and play with the NHL pace. Uh, just working hard every day, and uh, they say good things will happen. And in Mario, what has Coach DeRoche said said as far as your your role here? Uh, play, playing your strength. I mean, it means like driving the nets, getting hard, carrying the puck, and uh, making plays. You've uh, been a goal scorer throughout your your uh, time in Valdor. Uh, this year, do you feel that you can increase your pr- your offensive production? Yeah, sure. You can always be better. Uh, of course, uh, we got different teams in the past year, it's, uh, but I think I can play uh, pretty good games in Valdor, and uh, hopefully, uh, it's going to be a good year for me. You're. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much you've grown or how much stronger you are than a year ago. Players, most players, like to get bigger and stronger, but you've always been a pretty big physical player. Have you grown or are you stronger? Do you feel? Well, always uh, stronger. You know, every summer I try to be stronger and faster. So. Uh, I think that's the plan of my uh, training, so yeah, sure. And of course, uh, your dad uh, is very vo- involved in, in, in that side. Is, is he involved with you and your training, or is it just d- he and his, on his own? Yeah, sure. Every training is with me. He's uh, working out with me. He's like my uh, private trainer, so we are uh, working out a lot, and we're, uh, we spend a lot of time together during the summer. You know, what you're expecting from him this season? It's going to be leadership. You know, uh, we put an A before he left in case he came back and uh, he's 19 years old. We want him to, and he need to be ready for NHL. We want to work with him so he get ready for next year. So that's mean every shift. He cannot be lazy on any shift when he jump on the ice. He prepare himself for Team Canada, uh, and I'm pretty sure you don't want the, the silver medal, you want the gold medal as everybody who wear that jersey. He want to have a better experience than last year. And we want, we want, him to be an example. We know off the ice is a is a pure example of what hockey players should do on off ice training. Now on the ice during practice, during game time, uh, he's a little bit more physical than he was last year. I think Corena asked him that. We want him to learn the game a little bit more on his defensive side of the game because offensively, uh, he uses speed. He's strong. He can drive the net, and uh, that's what we want from him every shift after shift. Uh, power play, we move him from another position than net front, so he have to. We want him to learn different, different stuff, so he's going to be ready for the next level.